Okay, I'm back. Okay. All right, now let's welcome our next guest here. It will be our good friend. Good friend. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. There we go. And here we have Chance with us here. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Afternoon, night, whatever time of day I will be around. Time is ephemeral here in the in the forest of the talk show stage that I have created. <laughs> yes. It is wonderful. Hello. Thank you for coming by and thank you for coming to the first uh first set of Yo, you like that talk shows. Thanks for having me. It is my pleasure. Please go ahead and introduce yourself to the uh, to the viewers. All right. <clears throat> Let me get a sip of water for this. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, turn them up. <clears throat> All right. Hello, I am Chance. I'm a variety VTuber and your unlucky gambler. Hello, hello. <laughs> the unluckiest of gamblers. How unlucky are we talking? If you've seen my Genshin look. Ugh. Ah! <laughs> the gotcha, the gotcha is not. Uh, yeah, a, I've, a, I've lost. A gentle full, beast. I've lost at full pity before, okay? Oh, no. It's, it's actually. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so much. Oh, uh, yeah. I've lost <laughs> all seven 50 50s so far of my Genshin career. Dang. Well, you know what that means? You got all the bad luck out of the way, so only good stuff going forward, right? Right? Yeah, that's how gotcha works. <laughs> I, I think it just transfers to a different game. You've seen, no! You've seen my well, Master know, Duel pulls. <laughs> well, I know one game it will never transfer to, and that was the favorite game you have picked for us today. ba ba ba, -ba. Kingdom Hearts 2! Yes. I have so many favorite games, but like I feel like Kingdom Hearts I have a bit more knowledge of. Kingdom Hearts is just a fantastic game, like overall, without a doubt. Yeah, it, it was literally a chance encounter in an elevator. Oh, I see what you did there. Ah, uh, yes. This all happened in yes. an elevator, just like. <laughs> I think it was Ele elevator I pitch meeting. You've you've got you've got less than three minutes. Go go go. <laughs> I mean, it was it was it was just in an elevator. That's all. It just it was a chance encounter. No more in a Disney executive. That's all. We just shared the same building. It was crazy, right? <laughs> Circumstances lead to interesting things. So, how did you discover Kingdom Hearts two? Uh it was actually um, it was a bit of what's it called the old uh, Game Informer magazines. And also, I remember game magazines. Yes. So many ads. I loved it. And also, uh, it was actually somebody at GameStop was uh, recommending it. I'm just like, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I think. Well, uh, did you play this one before the first one? I actually played Chain of Memories uh, on the GBA as my first Kingdom Hearts game. Yes. <laughs> I know. I was already. I was already working with cards from such a young age. I'm with you there on the card, card, card warriors for life, card slash. <laughs> God, like, I mean, like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh came out here in like when I was in first grade, I think. So it's been. Oh man, it's old, 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 old. So, so thinking about it, then is you are actually more prepared for Kingdom Hearts two than a lot of people that just went from Kingdom Hearts one to Kingdom Hearts two. <laughs> Yes and no. As far as in I regards to the uh, the Castle Oblivion and the uh, the organization. Yeah, but I still did miss out a bit because of just missing out on the first one. Uh, that's true. I, I assume you did play it later afterwards. I did. I'm playing it now, <laughs> kind of. Playing it now. Playing it right now. Playing it as we're doing this interview. How did you know? I mean, I did stream it recently. At least with them. That's right. It was just a casual playthrough, though. Uh, not super proud mode extra thing. I think Rex did that recently oh, God. or nuggets or both of them. I They're both crazy. <laughs> I just played it on standard and then there's people who could play it with the goddamn dance pad. As long, let, let your heart be your guiding key. Also let it be your controller. <laughs> oh my gosh. So 
Um, I am totally in agreement. I think Cage 2 is also my favorite. But uh, why, why is it your favorite in regards to, you know, games? Almost, Gamey games. It's like, all kinds of games. It's it's really high up there, but it's like it's like a it's a weird like full packaged game that you don't need the full context of the first one, and they do kind of fill in like the more important moments, in like the very beginning. It's like it it works as it works as a good like entering the game, but it also works as a good like ending of the game. Okay, I I kind of see what you're saying. Like the game is actually like. It's, a good it's not so much a sequel as that it is actually just like a good game by itself. Like, just, you can play it, you can have fun, and that's good. And that's good. It also has, and like, a lot of a lot of sequels and stuff don't have that as much anymore. Yeah, it also has a lot of like replayability, in my opinion. But like, I I will I I'll, I'll be honest with you. I will replay this game so many times, finish with a faster time, all because I just wanted to watch the cutscenes again. Yee. <laughs> It it is like a great and like one of the prettiest ones, um, yeah. No, like Cage Two is just so good. Like, and it's so crazy how like after Cage Two, like everything we kind of like knew and assumed about how Kingdom Hearts was gonna go from then on just kind of like went all like so topsy turvy. Right. Uh, like say like in the opening shot right here, like just even like the opening shot tells you like how good the music is, like just all the transitioning into the different scenes it's so well done yes and sanctuary sanctuary is so good like people sleep on sanctuary people don't need to sleep on sanctuary it slaps hard this this opening slaps harder than the ending scene of kingdom hearts one and that's like I've never <laughs> back. like that drop right there that drop where roxas falls like oh uh, yeah no these so uh, no, this, this opening cutscene is money it is like hard money <laughs> it's the chef's kiss like the pacha meme perfection in an opening cutscene most deaf but yeah no kh2 is great so i was reading like some interviews about namora at the time right and um apparently like when it came to like world decisions in regards to like what they wanted to do at, at first they weren't given like any kind of like notice as to what they could use and they had to like start the world design like early, right? Because you know you're making the game, so they chose kind of like pretexts for worlds, and just like had a lot of like movie titles like picked for them, and they, uh, and he was just live on a phone call with his lawyers in Disney, and they were like, "This one's good." And they go, "Okay, cool. All right, next one. No, okay. This one's good. Okay, <laughs> this one's good. Okay." <laughs> I would love to see how complex that got in at least some of the later games, because my God, with three, it was all just. So chaotic, but a lot of good yeah. picked worlds. <laughs> but two definitely, I think, has like the best like series of worlds too. We got our first look at uh, Tron, right? Yes, we had um, Tron. We had the Lion King world. We had Mulan. Yes, yes, it was it was good. We had like uh, we had Beauty and the Beast. We had another Atlantica, which I honestly I like the musical. I like the songs that they actually got the they got the song <laughs> from the movie. <laughs> And an original song in there, and I really appreciate that. That 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 was someone's project. It's like, what are you assigned to? I'm signed to Atlantica. Good luck. They're like, all right, you just do what I'm you want. Cool. Mad. I'm like, I, I love part of your world. That's like the best song in the movie. Part of your world is a good song. And kind of. Uh, Finny Fun, Finny Fun, I can't as much like be down for, but part of your world's great. And it's kind of relatable when you're at cons. <laughs> Wish I could be part of that world. And then we had like a really good Twilight Town. Man, uh, I was reading how like the, the thousand heartless fight was almost taken out of the game because they were having so much trouble incorporating it. Yeah, it's just like, it was so good. Like that whole little arc right there, like the second Hollow Bastion arc in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, it's so good. Like that's one of the main reasons why. Like you have amazing arcs that are very relevant to the main story that just really do it. Like it brings a lot of things together, but like it, it really entices you to want to keep going. If that makes sense. It really does. Like every, every, every step you take in cage two, you're, you're excited for more. And that's something that I think it does like, like best of like the whole series without a doubt. Also like, honestly, like the combat is also very polished compared to one. So like, it's like, very easy, very flowy. You can really get into it. It's not too difficult. It's just right. 
Yeah, it was it was also before um uh, it was after they got rid of all of the different air abilities, but also like before they kind of got too floaty with the air combat. Yeah. And it was also the first uh introduction of like the action commands. You could say it was the most grounded. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah. I like that. <laughs> and it really shows. So I have to ask even though I think I know, who is your favorite character? This is a really this is a really hard toss up. It's literally between Riku and Roxas. They're both they're both such good boys. I just want them to be happy. <laughs> they are also the most well written, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I I I can definitely see that. Uh, like Riku is like, his story is like all always there in the background, and just like the illusions of what they don't tell you builds him up so much that when you see what happens, you're like, oh. Oh, this guy's been doing some stuff in the background, and he is just suffering for it. And then Roxas is like, yeah, he he's just, like, trying to just, like, live the best life he can, and is just suffering for it. <laughs> it's like, damn it. These <laughs> are better, and then three does everybody so dirty. Uh, th three, three is his own beast. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave three, like, outside of outside the door. It's not allowed in into the studio. <laughs> This outdoor studio. <laughs> it's like that, one, like that one meme where it's like, I love all of you equally, but you're the favorite. <laughs> We're just like the first three games. I, I like the meme where it's like, I like all of you except you very, very much. <laughs> That's right. Get out of here. You Get out of here, you moochers. Except you. You stay. <laughs> What about of the uh, organization? I, I gotta know. I gotta know who's your favorite. Oh, this is very difficult. You know what? Okay, it depends. It depends. It's easily gonna be Roxas. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. Let me let me rephrase the question. Because because you're because you're technically right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Roxas. Come on. All right. Besides Roxas and uh, Gian, uh who's your favorite organization member? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's either gonna be Marluxia or it's gonna be Axel. Okay, Marluxia's mine, so it's okay. <laughs> I have to go with Marluxia. I love Marluxia so much. Yeah, Marluxia. He's just so ambitious, but like cheeky at the same time. Yeah, he's he's a he's a good packaged character. In a in it's a shame that he didn't get to actually like you know like quite literally flower like blossom yeah. in in uh, Kingdom Hearts too. It's okay. We still got a good fight out of it. We did. Uh, For Axel, obviously, and, and, so you can get it memorized. Axel, anyway. Axel's just Axel. Okay, if not Riku or Roxas, like Axel's probably my favorite character. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, but that's also not including like the Disney or FF characters, like the original Kingdom Hearts characters. Yeah. How does it feel to have Cipher in a world separate from uh, Squall? <laughs> it just feels kind of weird. I am so salty. Okay, I'm so salty that. Uh, my favorite Final Fantasy just never got any uh, love in Kingdom Hearts. Five, four, four, yeah, four. Go four. Yeah, no, four gets ne four never gets love. No, it does. It's like the best one too. It's it favorite. is the best one. Yeah, FF four buddies. <laughs> yes, come on. Even though like all the spotlights on Rydia and Cecil, but it's still like it kind of works because that's the whole point is their development as characters. Really that, that whole game is just wonderful. I love it so. But yeah, no, it doesn't get love. Uh, it, what was weird? Uh, Titus is in the world, but then like the uh, the third uh, the ten two girls are fairies. Yeah. In Twilight Town, they're they're just little pixies, and I'm like, what? It's Hick it. So weird when you really look at it. But then we get the coolest thing. We get the Sephiroth fight. We get the cool Sephiroth fight. Oh God, I still have that highlight on my fucking uh, on my Twitch. That fight is so much fun. I love it so much. Dude, I got a, I got like my on on that highlight where I beat him. I got a frame perfect heal, which is like the peak of my cage two career. Hey, you, you gotta take advantage of those blinks. Like that, that invisibility frame is key. It's key. Yeah, it was like a, it was like an instinctive. It was like an instinct reaction that I just hit heal before. <laughs> it wasn't even intentional. It was like a total accident. Your body knew you were just reacting by instinct. Chances Ultra Instinct took effect. I was also under leveled for that fight. 
Yeah, I don't know if there is a good level for that fight. <laughs> Technically, uh, according to the experts, it's level eighty plus. I went in. I mm, went in. The into, experts, like, level yes. 54. That's why people do level one runs of that fight. <laughs> oh, did you want to know something? I actually didn't have uh, the once more ability on until like I got to Roxas. Oh no! The... <laughs> so I legit, I kept, I kept reminding, I was, I kept going like, hey, I should have, I should turn this on, I should turn this on. I just kept going until uh, Roxas. I actually almost beat him uh, once during three different uh, attempts. Uh, and it was funny because, like, I didn't have it on until, like, the last attempt where I beat him. I did enjoy how, like, the uh, the items you chose at the beginning, like, affected the skills you were learning along the way. Like, I thought that was a neat uh, way to, like, vary up your game. Like, oh, okay, I went, like, a defense build I'm or so a defense glad, up though. this time. I am so glad, though, they don't make you remove something this time. Yeah, the removing in the first one was a bit rougher. It's like, would you like nine different com or is, is it six or nine? It's like nine different combinations, right? think so i think it might be six or maybe six i don't know i'm not i'm not, I'm not a math ham ham i'm an idea ham ham <laughs> look a I can, big I can, squishy mixing ideas ham ham look i can i can i can make sequences in mahjong i just can't uh add other things that's all <laughs> <laughs> all right so the question that's super 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 relevant the most important question is would you recommend this game oh. Come on, be honest. Be honest. <laughs> honestly, I really would. As I like, highly, highly recommend. Like, you could honestly just get away with just playing Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts Two and just be fine. Like, yeah, no, the uh, the the bundle that they have on like PS4, where you get like one, two, and then like the cutscenes for three sixty-five. That's like this, just like the best bundle. Yeah, but uh, there's actually a better worst bundle where they give you that birth by sleep and uh what was the other one and chain and rechain of memories and also uh the heart scenes for the cut scenes for recoded oh yeah the cut scenes for recoded the best part was like i got all, I, I got that disc for it and it was like 30 bucks so i'm like okay chat has a sudden question that feels relevant would you recommend this game as a standalone game to play and uh yeah i don't see why not Really I think two could. would be a great entry point. You really could. It's a solid entry point, and honestly, it's really like the best game of the whole franchise. So you really, there's no really standard negative. They do kind of fill you in on like the more important bits of the story, at least in the beginning, and then you also get a lot of development with Roxas. All I will say is, don't skip the cutscenes. Don't skip those cutscenes. No. Never. If you do, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I, I, I swear though, uh, I, I swear I I will go through this game, get a faster time somehow, and just like just just by watching the cutscenes, just because I want to watch the cutscenes. That's all. It's like I won't even go on YouTube to watch all of the cutscenes. I want to earn them. <laughs> um, the final mix, if I remember, did add like some extra stuff in regards to like some extra boss fights and a few extra cutscenes. I think especially in regards to the Roxas fight, right? Oh, yeah. Just, oh, it's just, it has one of my favorite cutscenes, and I don't know if it's okay to talk about, because, uh, is it okay? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. My favorite cutscene that, that is, uh, Roxas oriented is really, um, that last bit right before he merges with Sora, uh, right after you fight him, right after you fight him. Yeah. And then, uh, He's having I he's having like one last sort of ice cream with Axel. And then it's just that final like interaction between them and then their farewell, just like, oh. It makes it a makes it a little bit bitter afterwards when you realize that Gion was probably there but he forgot. I know. It's supposed to be it's <laughs> supposed to be salty or sweet, not bitter sweet. It tastes like tears. Big ol' ham ham tears. Ah. Just like, uh, it really hurts when once you hear like that. I don't know. It's like the weird, like sort of somber softness from Roxas when he says, "Take care, okay." And then and then Axel's just like, right back at ya, buddy. Just oh, like, there's uh, there's such good boys. I just I just want to cheer them on for everything, especially in school. <laughs> Gosh, what they'll never go hard. to school, but I feel, I, but I, they'll an infinite summer vacation. Yes, 
Yes, that's what we all need. Also, what hurts more is the... <sighs> looks like my summer vacation is over. Just yes. Move. That's a lot of a lot of people like initially like complain that you play as like rocks is the beginning instead of Sora, but then like immediately once the section is done, they're like, no, okay, this is great. Don't, don't, I love this. Go back. People go back. Go back. <laughs> it's like it's like the reverse uh, Guns of the Patriots of Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid Two. <laughs> it's like if you started with Raiden and then you switched to Snake, but everyone was like, no, 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 go back, go back. Yes. yes. Just oh, it's it's so good. Like once you get a a taste of the story, just like oh. No, I want to go back. I want to go back. But yeah, 2 is just amazing all around. I love it to death. So good. It is. It is, I think, the high point of Kingdom Hearts for sure. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, now we will go ahead and take a few questions from the chat. I did see a couple earlier. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. Nobody has any love for Demix. How do you feel about Demix? I mean, Demix is cool. He's not the worst. I feel like Namora doesn't like Demix because I never, I don't know anything about Demix. <laughs> All you need to know is dance, water, dance. Is he, is he the uh, David Bowie of the game? Is he supposed to be David Bowie's nobody? The reference, apparently, yeah. <laughs> dance, magic, dance, water. That's the reference. I get, yeah, no, I guess so. Okay, well, damn. Well, I like David Bowie, so I guess I like Demix. Yes. He's just a lovable goof. <laughs> he's a lovable goof, but he's like the most unresolved character in the entire series. He's a, he's, he's the biggest mystery next to the Master of Masters. If it's not Sora under that cloak, it's probably Demix. <laughs> no, it's Jar Jar Binks. Oh, well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Now that Neku is canon in Kingdom Hearts, am I excited to go to Shibuya at some point? Oh, don't don't tease, Toaster. Don't tease. I, oh my god, man! Shibuya in KH would be like like top tier without a doubt. So they only touched upon that idea once, and then never again in like three. Never again. It's like, come on, dude! People literally go crazy just for Neku in a uh, three. I swear. Joshua was like, I, I brought them here so I could save them because I love them, and I'm like, I love you, Joshua. I just want to punch your lovable face so hard. <laughs> Just, uh, sure. Such a punchable, kissable face. <laughs> but no, N Neku's great. I, w I wish Neku to be in more things, uh, especially Kingdom Hearts. His first interaction with Sora is is that is is just Dream Eaters, and, the, and then Sora's like, "That's a weird name." <laughs> <laughs> Come on, damn it, Sora. Neku Kazuraba. <laughs> oh God, just. Damn it, Sora. He's... I feel, I feel I, I, like 2 is where Sora's smart, but he's not dumb either. He's like a good balance. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, no. 3, three he, is, he is the dumbest. But no, I, I almost want that scene like recut to be like, I don't understand your language. <laughs> like, like there's no babblefish. Like, Neku's speaking Japanese and Sora just can't understand it. <laughs> also, also, did you know that Sora's strength is actually varied on how far you complete the games? Like, that's how really? like Sora is canonically. Yeah, I can see that. Which is frustrating. So his power scaling is just all over the place. He's as strong as he needs to be, and as weak as he needs to be. Don't it happens. everyone. Except Kyrie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. What am, what am, what am I... Okay, okay, I have a mutual who, who says this, but, like, she, she says... Hey, Kyrie fans, how does it feel to be constantly disappointed? Damn. Like, <laughs> damn. You just slapped the truth that hard, but god damn it. It's funny. Oh, man, there's a slap and then there's like a sure you can. Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely the latter. Um, well, Chance, I want to thank you so much for coming by and uh, doing this with me. It was a lot of fun and I was super glad to just mark out on Kingdom Hearts stuff. Yeah. Uh, would you like to... Uh, talk about what you'll be doing gameplay wise or stream wise in the future it's a surprise as well as just uh what i've just been currently playing which is you not pokemon unite and currently marvel spider-man but i'm gonna try to see if i can stream more often yeah how far are you in spider-man which which uh chapter which act oh my gosh because we just 
Uh, let's see. We're a little bit past the reveal of Mr. Negative. Ooh. So let's see. We took down. We took down Tombstone. Uh, so yeah. So you're still. So you're still on chapter two, then I believe. I don't know. It's just. It says we're like thirty percent, thirty four percent done with the game ish. Yeah, that sounds right. We did. Uh, we did have the whole Miles thing already, like the whole interaction with him first. Yeah. It's like, oh, but it's so fun. it's so fun. Like I originally just planned to stream it for like maybe an hour and thirty minutes one day, but I ended up going for like five hours. No, no, it, it is definitely a good game. I'm, I'm glad it, I'm glad it gets to get more love too. It's so fun. Well, thank you everyone for coming by to watch, and thank you for coming and listening to me and Chance like mark out on Kingdom Hearts. Um, this turned out to be super, super good, and I will probably be doing this again next week in regards to having uh, two more fellow VTuber friends talk about stuff that they like. Before I go, may I at least uh, utter one final phrase? <gasps> yes. Take care of her. Take care of her. You have one job, everyone. One job. I can care. edit on a nice <laughs> <Kingdom Hearts> reference. <laughs> yes. Thank you everyone. 